Okay, this is uh, update as promised on the Verizon Jetpack AC791L. Um, Tim from Verizon called me yesterday as promised, and we did some speed tests. Uh, speed tests on the Jetpack were uh, about 6.7 on the up uh, download and about 12.7 on the upload, which is okay. Um, not stupendous, but it's okay. Um, he explained to me that after 10 gigabytes, that my jetpack speed will slow down below 3G, which is, uh, and he, you know, even confirmed it's, it's basically a dial-up modem at that point, which is useless. You can almost not load a web page. So, that sucks. Um, he did show me how to use my phone as a hotspot, which uh, is handy for another 10 gigs, uh, and then it slows down. Uh, I haven't tried it yet, so I don't know. Um, I understand why everybody is doing, you know, what they do with the cheapest, like T-Mobile or whatever, and a couple different phones uh, to get about 30 gigs, because I used 27 gigs last month or 37 gigs last month, excuse me. And my channel's new. I don't really have that many subscribers. Uh, I think I'm maxed out at like 20 right now. But anyways, um, he was very nice, very nice, very informative. Uh, he told me that Verizon does sell external antennas for this. They're about 30 bucks. Um, he even texted me the uh, SKU numbers for said antennas. So I will, uh, after next time we stop for more than a few days, I will order that and get some external antenna because our camper's all metal. It's 1975, so it's like a Faraday cage in here. If you don't put it in a window, you don't get signal. Um, but anyway, so that's the deal. Um, I promised I would do the update. Um, here it is. I'm still, you know, I'm happy with Verizon. Their customer service has always been good to me. I've been with them for a lot of years. Um, not too happy with the cost for what I'm getting, but, uh, hopefully that's something we can work out in the future. But anyway, thanks.